Next here tonight, Florida's citrus industry is fighting for its life. Some farmers tell us they fear that if things soon don't change, oranges in Florida could soon be a thing of the past. Tonight, Wendy Lane takes us to a local grove where the scent of a crisis is in the air. It wasn't that long ago where you could drive just about anywhere in Florida and smell the intoxicating scent of orange blossoms, but not anymore. And one farmer fears the future of Florida's citrus industry is grim. Grow our own farms are just about a thing of the past. For more than 80 years, Dean Mixon's family has been selling and growing oranges at Mixon's Fruit Farm in Bradenton. That's how we started. That was our first showroom. <laughs> and even before that, Mixon says some of the orange trees have been growing on this land for 150 years, all until about 20 years ago when diseases started wiping them out. It wasn't the greening it got them. It was the other disease called Crustasia. It took them out. Mixon says in the last two decades, diseases like citrus greening brought into Florida through imports have wiped out nearly 95% of their orange crop. And he says other citrus farmers are facing the same problem. It's gone so far now, it's just, uh, you know, growers are being forced to sell their property and get out of the business. And with the 50 acres of citrus trees Mixon has left, this year, he says farmers are facing another problem with the fruit dropping before it's ripe. It just falls off by, on its own. It just keeps it just keeps weakening right there at the stem area. Last week, the U.S. Department of Agriculture came out with new numbers for the Florida orange production forecast, dropping it by seven percent, facing the lowest citrus production for the state since before World War II. Mixon says the diseases have also stunted the trees. You know, a tree like this, as old as it is, would have picked probably a full bin of, of fruit. That's a thousand pounds of fruit. And uh, I'd be lucky to get 100 pounds off of them. Mixon has started planting bamboo and using Mixon Farms property for weddings and other events to try and make up for some of the lost revenue of citrus sales. He says he's praying for a cure for the orange tree diseases and he'll keep trying because growing oranges is all he's ever known. But he says for many farmers, the juice just isn't worth the squeeze. Every, every grower I talk to is the same, same thing. I just can't afford to do it anymore. In Bradenton, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.